Hello, it's Mike from Dimensional Walking, and today I want to talk about something called the Wandering Planet. And I have a question, is it really entering our solar system? So, in, in recent times, there has been this discovery that uh, kind of feels like it's ripped from the pages of science fiction. Astronomers have confirmed the approach of a wandering planet. A rogue celestial body, not a not bound to any stars. So that means it's 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 entering the outer reaches of our solar system, detected through gravitational influence on nearby objects. This interstellar rifter has sparked intense scientific curiosity and a wave of speculations from which. Where has it come from? Also, what is it, you know, what is its composition? What will be its potential impact? These are all things that I think have to be considered. I know the astronomers are jumping in and doing it, but it's kind of been thrown out to the public. So I guess we're all going to speculate on what's, what's happening next here. Um, this, is, this is also known as a rogue planet, a wandering planet is a, a planetary mass object that doesn't orbit a star. Instead, it travels alone through the galaxy. So this probably was something they, they're saying that it was maybe ejected from uh, its original solar system due to maybe some gravitational interaction or a catastrophic event of some sort. These planets are notoriously difficult to be detected because they detect it because they emit no light, and they of, often lurk in the cold darkness of space. Um, the freely con, uh, confirmed or newly confirmed uh, uh, wanderer was spotted thanks to a subtle gravitational tug on a distant celestial body, a cosmic ripple that betrayed his presence. So anyways, it went by something and we were watching that something. And I guess that something made a unusual move or, or, or changed in its uh, gra uh, orbital path around its sun. So anyways, that was our detection that something was coming towards us. While its exact size, trajectory and composition remain under investigation, its mere existence chan chan uh, challenges our understanding of planetary formation and galactic dynamics. The planet is currently approaching the outer borders of our solar system. Uh, it's likely passing through this thing called, I think it's called the, you probably pronouncing it incorrectly, sorry, the Oort cloud, which is a vast shell of these uh, icy objects that marks the outer edge of the sun's influence or gravitational influence. Scientists are, 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 are closely monitoring its path, trying to determine whether it will remain a distant visitor or venture closer to the inner uh, solar system, which is where we lie, okay? If it moves inward, it could interact with other bodies, potentially disturbing a, uh, uh, what they call a uh, cometary, Orbits, I guess that's what they call our orbits. Um, and again, that would uh, could also influence some of the other dynamics within the uh, within our inner the inner solar system, which could be probably not so good. However, most of these experts do believe it's going to stay out and not come in. But I will say this, and you should all know what I'm going to say. We live in a very strange time, and there seems to be things that that look or should go a certain way, and they don't go a certain way, and that seems to be having an increasing reality uh, for us all. Uh, so, anyways, so let's take a little bit of a fun jog, and let, let's look at some of the possibilities what this what this thing could be, and what its purpose may be. What what if this this uh, uh, planet is not just a rock, but it's a relic? Imagine a world once teeming with life 
inject, e ejected from its home system by a dying star or interstellar war. The surface could be littered with runes, uh, dormant uh, technology, or even frozen preserved bodies waiting to be awakened. If it's been drifting for eons, it may carry the whispers of a forgotten race. Or, or some type of uh, interdimensional extraterrestrial arc adrift in the void. So, some uh, astrobiologists speculate that the rogue planet could serve as a as a vessel, a natural carrier of uh, microbial life, shielded by thick ice or, or uh, subterranean oceans. It might harbor uh, something called extra morphic morphics capable of surviving interstellar travel if this planet passes close enough it could theoretically uh, seed life on other worlds including ours a cosmic uh, johnny appleseed if you will um and what if what if it's not a planet at all but a a cloaked mega structure uh, think maybe of a massive probe disguised as a planet to avoid detection. Its gravitational signature could be engineered to mimic natural planetary masses, while its true purpose remains hidden. It may observation, data collection, or even contact, or maybe something not so good. <laughs> okay, so let's stretch that rubber band even further. Could this object be a kind of anchor point for interdimensional travel? If reality is layered and wormholes or quantum tunnels exist, a rogue planet might serve as a stabilizing node, a place where the veil between the dimensions thins. Its arrival could trigger anonymous phenomena, time distortions, or even sightings of cryptids and UFOs. So let's talk about a philosophical curveball, okay? What if the planet itself is sentient? Not in the traditional biological sense, but in a form of planetary intelligence. A living world that moves with purpose. Some fringe theorists uh, suggest that the consciousness could emerge as a planet on a planetary scale. Rogue planets might be the wanderers of such minds seeking others of like themselves to explore the galaxies in search of meaning. How about a final thought here? Whether this wandering planet is a chunk of rock, a biological arc, or something far stranger, its arrival is a reminder of how little we truly know about the universe and its cosmic wild card, a visitor from the deep that could rewrite textbooks or inspire new myths. For now, astronomers will keep their telescopes trained on its path while the rest of us dream about what secrets it may hold. Happy trails until we meet again. Bye-bye.